Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Pace, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a face recognition system in five lines of Python uh, by using deep learning techniques. So, guys, yes, it's possible. Recently, I have created this library named Auto Face Recognition. With the help of this library, you can create this complete system within a five lines of code in Python. I'll put link of this library in the description of video, so you can go there and check it out. And make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for the future update. So before proceed, if you haven't checked my article about how to create virtual assistant using Python within 50 lines of code in 10 minutes. So I have posted this article on the medium.com. You can check that uh, article from the description of video. And I have also created a dedicated video for that. So you can also check that video in my YouTube channel. So recently I have added few new features in this library. So I'm going to post latest video on that very soon in my channel. So stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. If you want to create a virtual assistant using uh, Python within 50 lines of code in 10 minutes, I have already uploaded this dedicated video. If you want, you can check out this video from the description of this video. So now let's get back to this video. So recently I have created this library named auto face recognition and this is the uh, version which I'm going to use 0.0.1. .0 so you can use the same version. Maybe in future I'll post some more update. So maybe some functionality may change. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you can subscribe our channel for the latest update. Now, first of all, you want to open a choice of your editor. I like to go with the PyCharm. I like PyCharm pretty much. I'm very familiar with it. You can choose any editor you want. Now, here you can see that I have created a virtual environment. Uh, I recommend you to create a virtual environment for all your project. It will help you to keep your things separate and don't mess with your base uh, environment. So, create a virtual environment and start. Uh, your project and now here you can see that I have created a folder name script and inside this script I'm gonna create a file name script.py so here I have created this script dot uh, py file and this is the five lines of code and I'm gonna explain it to you within a few minutes here you can see that this is the literally five lines of code and I have also posted this article on medium.com so if you want to read a text based tutorial you can go to my medium article I'll pu put this link in the description of video so you can go there and you can read about this text based tutorial now first of all you want to install this library so just copy this command and just paste it on your terminal by activating your virtual environment and it will gonna install all the dependencies and all the libraries and all the things for you and you just need to wait for a couple of minutes and it once it's done then you can start coding but by default we're gonna use the latest version of tensorflow uh, now here you can see that it will gonna install the tensorflow 2.3.0 well, it doesn't matter whether you know TensorFlow or not. It doesn't matter at all because we're going to use this uh, auto face recognition library and it will going to handle all the things for you. So once it's done, first of all, you want to import this library. So you can simply type import auto face recognition. Then you need to create an object. So you can create object like this. Then first of all, you want to create a data set. And to create data set, you need only these lines of code. So you need to call the function data set create. Now inside this data set create, you need to pass few parameters, the hard cascade path, the i cascade path and class name. Class name is the name of the person or the name of the data set which you want to create. Okay, now you need to download this uh, XML files and put it in your same directory where this code is. So you need to download this hard cascade file. So once you download this hard cascade file, you just need to paste these files here. So once you have pasted these files uh, here, you just need to provide a path. So if you follow the same structure as mine, if you put these two files inside the folder called hard cascade, then you need to provide the path explicitly. What I mean to say, uh, this is the default path. Okay, so if you uh, have some other path, then you need to provide the path. Uh, if you have the same path, you need to provide the path. <laughs> well, it's it may sound confusing, so just follow my structure. Okay, now once you done with this uh, lines of code, you just need to run it. So once it run, it will gonna start capturing your face. It will gonna start detecting your face, and it will gonna uh, capture some frames. By default, it will gonna uh, capture hundred frames. You can customize it. You can read the docs if you want to capture more frames. Then here you can see that it will it will gonna create a folder named data set. It will gonna create another folder inside the data set according to your class name. And here you can find all the frames. We're gonna use these images for our training purpose. Now here you can see that uh, the, by default it will gonna create 100 frames. Now if you want to explore more, you can just read about the docs. Now here you can see that uh, available options. Now here you can customize this number of samples. You can customize the eye detect equal to true. 
uh by default it is false you, if you want to just capture your face uh by default it is true if you want to capture whole body and everything you can set it false you can customize width and height you can set your color mode to true by default it will gonna just capture uh black and white images if you want you can just set this color mode to true and it will start capturing rgb images so basically these all things are parameters so you need to pass this parameter if you want to perform some other action if you want to customize it now here you can see that i have only one folder named the page i need to create a, another folder uh, because training on single folder make uh, no sense right so i'm gonna ask my brother to come here and i'm gonna run this code again to create another folder another data set so here you can see that i have another folder named jay i asked my brother to help me he helped me and this is the another folder i have named jay so now i have two classes i mean two folders so i'm going to train my model on this two folder now i want to comment this because i don't want to create this data set anymore so i just want to now train start so you just need to uh, call this function name face recognition train so you just need to call this function it will start training it will gonna start default parameter if you want you can customize it now i'll show you something uh, but before that like here you can see that uh, it found two classes 200 images it will gonna install uh, it will gonna use 40 images for the validation 160 images for the training and there are some other parameters here you can find the keras uh sequential model it will gonna use some convolutional layer and lots of other things so if you want you can read about it maybe in future update i'll add uh some fine tuning option that will be great i haven't gone through the stress testing i had stress testing means here a uh, maximum number of classes i only tested it with two classes uh maybe in future i'll test it with more classes and maybe fine tuning and some other things you suggest me what are the features you want i'll try to add those features you can also contribute in this repo by going to that github page so now here you can see that training uh, training is almost done and once the training is done it will uh, create this graph for you so you can analyze it now here you can see that on your screen available parameters to customize uh, training so you can play around with this parameter by default 10 epochs and the model directory is model so now here you can see that once the training is completed it will create a folder named model where it will gonna store your model file now let's talk about the future prediction now here you need to call the predict underscore faces function and here you need to pass the class name make sure to pass exact same number of classes which you have during your training uh, if you pass something else if you mess it up then it may throw an error so make sure to pass the correct number of classes so once you pass your classes you can choose the color mode by default uh color mode is true well you can set color mode is false if you set color mode is false then it will gonna uh, give you black and white results if you pass the color mode true then it will gonna give you rgb results now once you start this function it will start a window uh, open C window where it will start live prediction of your faces so now here you can see that it is started predicting my faces and now it is predicting a 99% correct result like accuracy is pretty much good and it is also predicting my brother's face uh, correctly and it is also predicting my face correctly now behind these windows you can also get output on your terminal so if you set the color mode false here it will start a uh, black and white window by default the color mode is false so guys that's it for this video i hope you like it don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all future videos if you have any suggestion or any doubts or anything else you can feel free to comment and so guys that's it for this video this is the best sign out meet you soon in next video